Hello, I'm Momtaz for AsianCultureVulture.com and you're joining me here at the UK Asian Film Festival at the glamorous Mayfair Hotel. It's the perfect location as this year sees the 20th anniversary of the festival. Now it was formerly known as Tongues on Fire and then the London Asian Film Festival but now it's all over the UK it means more film fans can enjoy the films but more on that later. Let's head inside and check it out. Progressive, do you think the film industry has become in terms of how it represents women? You know, it's taken a very long time for, for the film industry to become progressive. It's happening very slowly, but it is happening. And I think the next few years will uh, enlarge upon this, and you will see a lot of progression as far as women are concerned, and as far as female directors are concerned, and as far as strong roles for women, women oriented films. All this is happening. It's happening slowly because they've had to do it themselves. Nobody was there to open the doors for them. The women had to fight their way and break down that door. And that's what they've been doing. Some things in the industry seem to have just gone backwards. What do you think about something like censorship? You know, I don't think there should be censorship in the sense. I think they should just give a rating. Rating with parent, you know, parental, PG, or uh, for everybody. That's all they need to do. They don't need to uh, just cut off scenes from films uh, for everybody. That's not done. But I'm sure in a few years it'll change. I'm optimistic. And finally, it is the 20th anniversary of the UK Asian Film Festival. So how does it feel to be involved in such an iconic number? And what do you think it actually represents for the Asian film industry? Well, there are very few platforms that lift up Asian films and put it high up there, you know, and I'm very proud that the Asian Film Festival is doing that and they have been doing that year after year. It creates a buzz, you know, it, it helps, it encourages so much and uh, that's, how, that's how the industry grows and this gives us a chance to communicate with people, you know, and to get to know what they want, how they want, get to, for them to meet filmmakers, for us to meet them. Because thank you. Yeah, because films had such a huge influence on people. Thank you so so much. So it's really exciting actually because when I did last see you, you were in London filming a yes. dance scene for Boogie Man. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, it's an Indo-Western film, but it's got all the perks of a Bollywood film in that sense, just a little bit shorter. Uh, so it's got the great dance numbers, the colours, the vibrancy, uh, and it's got a bit of comedy, a bit of romance. Uh, so it's got everything. It's for the whole family. So I'm very excited to be closing the festival with it. Are you hoping that some more non-Asians will enjoy this film as well? 100%. It's a real international film, and that's why I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, so obviously I've got my, my Indian projects over in Mumbai and, and Chennai, but now this is nice to work in in London and I've got something overseas in America so it's a nice it's a nice mix you are one of the most respected Pakistani actresses right now that's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders so how do you kind of deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis uh -huh. Uh, well, my shoulders feel heavy. I deal with it with a good massage, which is not true actually. I, w I need one right now. Um, I deal with it like I like like I would deal with any other thing which I feel is challenging in my life, you know, which might look challenging for other people, but it is challenging in my life, whether it's that I'm, you know, I'm, I have a child and I have to rush between, you know, home and work, you know, things like that. So I look at it as this is, this is my life and I have to deal with it to the best of my abilities. If you're asking me, do I carry a responsibility? I do, and I'm aware of it. Um, and how do you think it can be used for good? So what's your kind of thoughts on campaigns like Me Too, Time's Up? Because if you say something about these things, people will listen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was discussing this with someone yesterday, and she was saying it's amazing how people are willing to listen to public personalities, and that's why it's so important that you guys understand the language. And I was like, yes, I'd love to talk to you and understand the language, you know, from you. And she was an activist. 
So, so yes, I think it is very important, um, especially if you feel for something. I think it's important that you talk about it because there are people out there who are looking up to us, who emulate us, and sometimes we forget. You know, I forget because I'm like, oh, this is, this is me. It's my life. But there are times that you have to be. You have to understand that that responsibility means something, and that you can use it really, really well. Now you're obviously here with your teammates, your cast from Cake. So obviously you spent some intense time with them, working with them. What's it like to then jump through to doing this promotion together and seeing them all again? I don't think we've really been apart too long. It was uh, filming for the film, then a little break, and then we've been promoting for the last month or two, on and off. Um, I think once you kind of worked in a film together, time uh, stands still. So you pick up from wherever you left off. So it's just like it was on the film. Uh, it's a great bond, I think, that has been formed between all of us. Um, it's comfortable. We uh, look out for each other. We get along, and uh, we're all very passionate about the film Cake. So we're we're all promoting it with the same uh, intention and with the same passion. So Cake is obviously showing here at the festival. Can you tell us a little bit about what it's all about? Uh, it's about what we all kind of go through in life, especially South Asians. I think family is a very deep-rooted uh, family values is something that is really highlighted and talked about uh, in our culture, in our films, in our television, in our homes, um, and it just highlights parents getting old and how we, the children, have to balance the lives that we've uh, left the nest to go and make, um, balanced with coming back to take care of the parents because no one else is going to take care of the parents as well as the children will. Um, and then it's about siblings and sibling rivalries and unsaid things and family secrets, but it just basically kind of highlights and touches upon um, intimate family relationships. Of course, we're at the 20th anniversary of the UK Asian Film Festival. Women are very much central to this festival. And being a woman in film yourself, um, do you consider yourself to be a role model? What kind of women did you look up to when you were training to be an actress? Well, as far as me being a role model, that's not something I can say. Or uh, It's really about uh, what young girls think uh, who watch our films and our TV programs. As far as my idols are concerned, there are definitely men and women in the field who have kind of paved their own path um, and been able to create things that reach um, reach individuals in a special way um, and I think I, I congratulate UKAFF for pulling through all these years and pro pro providing a kind of platform where um, aligned people of the same wavelength, creative wavelength come together and celebrate each other. What do you make of the F rating? Um, well I think I mean I, I you know I think it's great that there are more women you know, making work, making films. I myself am in the theatre, and I would say I have a, a BFF rating, you know, which is a brown female in her 50s, and I'd like to see that rating. That is a beautiful rating. <laughs> now, you are also being honoured in the Flame Awards tonight, so tell us a bit about that and what it actually means to have a connection to this event in that way? Well, I mean, I think it's it's a great privilege, you know, to get to, I was, uh, I was sort of, um, they wrote to me and said they'd like to give me this award and to be recognized in this way by our own communities, you know, by people like Tongues on Fire, uh, it's a great privilege. So I, I'm very thrilled about that. And we're also very privileged to obviously have you because you have been a big face in the art scene for many years, very much an iconic figure. So obviously being involved for so long, you've seen a lot of changes, a lot of developments. So how would you describe the current state of the art scene for British Asians at the moment? I mean, I can't profess to know everything about the scene, you know, uh, but I think certainly people of my generation, what we're looking at is we seem to be going in circles of the same conversations about diversity, visibility, you know, representation. In a sense, nothing I'm hearing now is not stuff that I've been hearing for the last 35 years. What's, it is great to see you know, young people really taking control of that and feeling like they're going to make a difference. You know, we, are, we are stepping in the footsteps of people that came before us like Zora Segel, Jamila Massey, who I believe is being honoured tonight, you know, and people are stepping in our footsteps, so, but, you know, I'd like to see real tangible change. 
When you think about what you achieved back then and you kind of look at the progress that's happened in the entertainment industry in the UK, do you feel that we're at a level of representation now that we should be or is there still more work to be done? I, I think I think it is a lot better than it used to be, but it could always be better. Always better. You can get better. Pushpinder, congratulations. It is the 20th anniversary of your festival. How are you feeling? This is a big birthday for our festival, yes. And on our 20th year, we are going nationwide. So we are really proud to take these good films to other parts of UK. Now, the festival is, of course, F-rated. That means it's championing women in film. So was that a conscious decision to add a feminist element? No, it's not adding the uh, feminist uh, element to it. We've always supported women's films. Uh, we started as Women's Film Festival, but I think in this uh, centenary year of suffragette, it felt right to go back to the roots and really strengthen the kind of films, the kind of stories, the kind of events we have in the film festival. Now you mentioned that this year the festival is going nationwide, so can you tell us whereabouts in the country we can see some of these films and also maybe tell us just slightly a little bit about some of the genres, some of the types of films we're going to be seeing. Right, okay, so we, we are travelling to Glasgow and Edinburgh to Birmingham and Manchester. Of course, we are in Leicester. So for us, this is amazing, amazing time. And the kind of films we, uh, we are screening is about stories told by women, directed by women, and some of them uh, stories about women. So, so it's F-rated theme and to give more platform to women storytellers. To, to, um, to showcase their work. So the UK Asian Film Festival takes place across the UK from the 14th to the 31st of March. Don't forget to head over to asianculturevulture.com to check out our previews and of course keep checking back for all our reviews.